Hello, today I'm going to show you how to um, add a lens flare effect to an image on Photoshop. First, you have to open Photoshop, like you, as you can see I have it open. Then you have to open an image, so I'm just going to open this little image I've been working on. Um, then, uh, if you, e lens flare is basically like the effect where you know how if you look at the sun sometimes like you see kind of little like reflection kind of things from the sun that's basically what a lens flare is so you get an image you go up here go to filter then oh uh, well my thing might be messed up so you can't see it but then you go down to render then you go to lens flare you might not be able to see this cuz my computer is a little messed up but so it's filter render lens flare. Then click on lens flare. You get this window. It's right here. Then um, you can like click on the little lens flare thing right here. You can just move it around anywhere you want. You see, like you just move around anywhere. Um, at the top over here, which is brightness, you can just adjust the brightness. So I can make it lower, like really low, really high, which is like yeah. You can make it as much like as like, basically customize fully customizable. So I'm gonna go with 140 brightness. Down here, you can pick the type of lens flare. Um, right now the current one is 50 by 300 millimeter zoom. Um, this is usually like the most uh default one, which they use like in the movies and basically yeah. They also have 35 millimeter prime, which is this. It's kind of like a sun effect where you can, if you have like a picture with let's say someone standing in a field and there's a like a bright sun there, you can add a lens flare effect and I would probably use 35 millimeter prime. There is also 105 millimeter prime, which is this. It's kind of like a future kind of alien little thingamajiggy, but it's cool. Um, you can use it for different images. So, um, well, I'm just gonna use this one for now for this image. So I'm lower the brightness a little. Um, so uh, you can just move around. The th you can move the uh, lens flare around easily. Just click and drag it. So, um, I'm gonna put it, let's say, right here next to the guy's gun. So after y you have it like in the position you want, like the brightness you want, um, you click OK. Then you get you get the lens flare on your image. So you can also use the lens flare effect for adding headlight effect to a vehicle. For example, I'm gonna use this 2008 Dodge Charger police vehicle. I'm gonna go back up to filter, render, lens flare. Um, I'm gonna use 50 by 300 millimeters zoom. I'm gonna add little lens flares on the headlights. Okay, then go back to filter, render, lens flare. We get a second one right there. And as you can see, the car now looks like the headlights are on. It would be better if there's a black well, background, but oh well. So, yeah, there is a lens flare effect. So I can also add a bunch of lens flare effects right here, um, and lighting effects. So you can go up to, um, so um, you can go up to filter, render, lighting effects. I'll get this window, so you can change the different lighting effects of your image. Let's say I'm gonna put it like this right here. Click OK. And you can add a bunch of lens flares to make it look pretty cool. Like this. Let's see. Oops. Wrong. Well, yeah, you can make it look like that, basically. So, yeah.